what's up guys how are you guys doing today hope everyone's having a great day as always guys i want you guys to take a guess where i'm at this guy's one of the most controversial no never mind i'm gonna stop right there let's wow. get started like that but uh Positive. guys come over here <laughs> come on down and we're over here then none other than welcome to the room wait are you busy what? are you busy big dog what is happening? No. <laughs> oh my What's god, up, brother? Dude. How are you, man? I'm so happy right now. Dude, I would say this is probably the... Dude, how long ago was it since we've done the video? It's been almost two years, if not Two more, years, though. guys. I mean, we're over here with the big homie himself, MJ. We're Mr. Trap Talk himself. Now, before we get started real quick, dude, drop the socials. Just drop everything, guys. I mean, first and foremost, honor to have Miguel, my, my, my first mentor here in the Trap 2.0. But please go give my podcast which he supports and one of my sponsors of that podcast, Trap Talk Reptile Podcast on YouTube. You can also catch me on all the major podcasting platforms, um, Buzzsprout, um, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. And then also follow me on Instagram, Trap Talk God 619 to be on top of all my projects. All the information will be in the description down below. So yes. real, real quick, um, MJ, now, now that we're like, you know, here. <laughs> so, you know, you've got a lot of uh, bumps down the road, right? All the Trap Talk, couple, right? A couple swivels. And what keeps you, I mean, before we, I, before even we even get to all of this stuff, I'm just curious, what keeps you going? Uh, if I ever get in that much shit, I just give you a call and ask if I'm okay or not. And you usually tell me I'm okay. So. Well, yeah, I do, but it's because I used to, here, here's the thing though, and this is the honest to God true story. See, is when I tell you, okay, it's because I know the old MJ, so it's like... You see my progress. The, the little bumps, it's like little bumps, not like huge freaking <laughs> jumps. I mean, because this guy was, when I say kind of like hot-headed, I mean, it's as hot-headed as it gets, man. Yeah. But you came a long way, man, and Thank you. I've seen, I mean, dude, you've evolved like crazy, brother. I mean, dude, I'm yeah. so proud of you, and I'm glad to be here. And dude, let's get to it, man. Let's let's show them what you got, man. So now the Trap 2.0 is now split up into two rooms in a sense. So now we are on the podcast side of the room. As you just walked into, I was doing a podcast right now, and I just stopped it because Miguel Garcia from Always Evolving Pythons here. So, I see some wine right there, big dog. That's yeah, that's for me. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I had some uh, off with you, <laughs> but you went for the quarter life. Yeah. Um, but no, guys, yeah, so this is the podcast side of the room where I get down to business on, on my uh, all my episodes. And then behind me displayed on every episode are all my Focus Cube Habitat three by two by two enclosures, um, which house half of my northern emerald tree boas, and the rest are my green tree pythons. Um, and this is really a big passion of mine. So, you know, I'm trying to get my feet wet still as far as breeding goes, but yeah, this is a lot of the passion side of what I keep is on this side of the room. So before we get through all these and start going through some of these animals, dude, we have to go a big shout out to Pee Wee Herman, man. Yeah, Mr. To Paul Pee -wee, Rubin man. himself, dude. I mean, yeah. that's so crazy. Rest in peace, my yeah. G. All right, brother, so so what do we got right here? Let's start off with some yeah. of the stuff you have here. Yeah, so right here is where I have some of my raise-ups. Like, these are ones I've uh, had since hatchlings or or actually I could say lit litter mates. Um, so this right here is a northern emerald tree boa, captive, born and bred, meaning it was you know, actually here uh, produced in the United States. So beautiful. And then right next to it is actually one of my Amazon basins produced by my good, my good friend Socrates. So insane, brother. Look how beautiful these things are, man. Let's see if I get a little close up. It should lighten up right now. I'm just gonna bring it out a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get a good, good look at it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that for, oh, that's for your first, your real holdback, huh? This is for my number one holdback. That's for the real holdback yeah, right there. That's for the holdback. Ah, uh, there we go, there we go, way yeah, better, man. She's in shed right now. So have you ever been tagged by one of these? I have, yeah. It's not so bad as when they're babies. I mean, I've not been tagged by a big, full-grown adult, which you don't want that type of time, I can tell you that right now. Does it hurt as much as the ball python? Because, dude, I, I, <laughs> I only mess the ball pythons, bro, and those things, they hurt, man. The only thing you're going for a ball python bite, at most, is for a paper towel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, ain't going right. to the, you ain't going to the ER or anything. So, all right, so now let's, let's you know, take us through some of this stuff right here, man, because I don't yeah. really know much about this. I just know that they're yeah. emerald tree boas. So you remember our, our, our late friend Forrest Fanning? Yeah, 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 yeah. Rest in peace, Forrest Fanning, Forever Zoo Dreams. Well, I was lucky enough to inquire his Miss Willie line, which is a line of northern emerald tree boas. And this is one of his females right here. Dude, look at this, man. So, bro, now you were saying something down the lines that if this thing were to tag you, you for sure are going to need some stitches, right? Yeah, so this is a full-grown adult northern emerald tree boa, Miss Willie line. And uh, the, the thing that this girl has, you do not want to get tagged by. Um, we're talking long enough to where it's going to leave some crazy lacerations in you. I had a good buddy of mine who had a girlfriend who got bit by a girl this big and she got seven stitches. Um, so 
yeah, you don't want to mess around. But these are really docile, man. Like a lot of people get the understanding of these being very aggressive and mean, but that's not the case. Like I could, I could actually hold her like this and it's no problem. <laughs> I don't know about you, man. I'm going to stick to ball python. <laughs> so these things have big fangs, right? Because they grab birds, right? In the wild. So for and the most part, they're high in the trees and they grab, they, 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 they do eat birds as prey um, for sure. Um, but, you know, they also eat a lot, anything on the ground as well. So a, a lot of people do get the misunderstanding that these mainly eat birds, but that's not the case. I mean, bird is a part of their diet, don't get me wrong, but they eat gerbils and stuff or whatever it is on the, that's on the ground as well. So beautiful, man. Yeah. All right, so what do we have down there? I see something over there in a little different colors. Like, I know these are not all the same. You know, again, I'm, dude, I'm, don't make fun of me. This is not my thing. So this is my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. This is Jessica Alba, that's her name. Um, she's my favorite Miss Willie line, or I mean, I want to say probably my favorite snake, to be honest. Are you serious? She's my eldest, to be honest. Yeah, she's so a, that, that's full grown for them. This is a full grown female, and as you can see, you know, like this girl's on, she's prime, she's eating well, she's like breeder ready. This girl's a lot older by a few years, and uh, you know, this is primarily the, the biggest they'll get, you know. Yeah. But the green, that like the coloration so on this thing is just beautiful. unreal, yeah. Now here's here's a question right now. So you obviously see some on, online that they're blue. They have like this crazy teal color to them. Right. Now is that legit or is that Photoshop? I mean, a lot of them... I know some as babies look intense. Now, you know, we're, are we talking emerald trees? Or are we talking nor are we talking uh, chondros? What are we talking about? Oh, that's about? right. You see, that's, that, that so, goes and tells you how much I know about these. So I mean, I mean, because I could show you something that it's an emerald tree that has a blue tint to it, but then I could just show you a straight blue snake. Are you um, serious? Yeah, so here's a blue snake right here. You can actually bring your camera over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Do that. You don't even have to bring it out. I think we can no, just get it right here. No, you can eat it right here. They're not going to tag you or anything, so you can just get it from there. Wow. Dude, that is insane, brother. Now, what are these? So same that, thing? Yeah, these are little cowdy green tree pythons. So these aren't new. Yeah, these are not the same thing. These are actually pythons versus boas. So if anyone out there got it. what the difference is, pythons actually give you a clutch of eggs, boas. That's right, them. live birth. Yeah. Right, live birth. So sure. this right here is a python. These are pythons. Those are boas. Those are boas. Pythons. Dude, I feel like a noob, man. So this right there is not a clown, and that right there is not a <laughs> desert ghost. These are not recessive. You know? <laughs> So um, this right here is a python, right? Another python, yeah. This yeah. is a, a, a bx. So this is my first chondro I've ever gotten right here. Perfect, dude. How much? So how much of these type of species do you have here in, in your room? What do you mean, like how many? Like how many different species of? Uh, yeah, of. Uh, how many counties? Do you know? Because here's the thing, like they're, they're, the species would be a boa, right? So I have northern, I have emerald tree boas, and then I have green tree pythons. Yeah. Green tree pythons, they don't, they're no morphs. They come in localities, and then when you breed localities different localities together, you get a designer. And I'll show you a designer. Got it, got it. So this, this right here. So real quick, uh, MJ, over here, oh. those are emeralds, right? So these are primary, like these are a lot of these are emerald tree boas. Yeah. My males, these are a lot of my breeders. Um, like, I don't know, let me show you my favorite basin here. This is my boy, Benny the Basin. This right here is my Amazon Basin wow. emerald tree boa produced by Ed Marino, who's the number one basin emerald tree boa ever to be existed. No way. Yeah, right. Um, and this is my male, man. This is my star Full grown right there. Um, he's a 2019. I, I, I would say he could definitely get a little bit bigger, but, but not much. Not much. Yeah. I've seen males a lot bigger than this. Yeah. Um, he's yeah. just a smaller one. Bro, that is beautiful, man. Now this right here is the infamous Trap Talk studio right here, right? This is where every of the following Trap Talk Reptile podcast episodes happen right here. Um, so anytime you see me on YouTube, I'm sitting in this chair, I'm talking in this mic, and I'm smoking out of that bomb. Well, <laughs> no, you could. No, you were good. And uh, this right here, your walk-in incubator? Yeah, that's my incubator. Bro. Um, you open it up. Killing it, here, man. Here. And I'm not going to lie, man, I have a clutch on one of these guys. Are we going to fill this up all the way? Uh, probably not. No? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, you, oh, and of course, man, we have to go with the reed six. This yeah. is what I always knew you as, dude, the yeah, reed six guy. Snakes, dude. Yeah. Right, right, so over here is where I keep a lot of my larger... You actually um, one time called me a, a, a P.U.S. is why, because I didn't have, like, big snakes and stuff like that. I did not, did I? Yeah. I don't know about but that. you're being cool about it. I mean, I was upset, but it, be, it is what it is. I need to see the video. <laughs> so, uh, so are you still messing with them pretty heavy, or is not it... Not heavy, definitely not. You know, the biggest snake I keep is this girl right here. So that's my super dwarf, believe it or not. That's a 50% super dwarf platinum. And that's as big as it's going to get. That's she's maxed That's it. Out. Yeah, she's maxed out. And what do we have right here? Right here is a she's 4 years old. That's a 4-year-old 
going on four years old, 75% Superdorf um, Platinum Sunfire uh, Phantom Annery. Dude. Um, so, nice. All right, so let's see it. And we got the boxing gloves still laying hands on people, I see, huh? Yes, uh, so I'm ready for you, Jesse, yeah. whenever you're ready. <laughs> so of course, we're right here, what do we have? We're still working on ball pythons, correct? I mean, Yeah, so this is some of my hold bags and whatnot, some of the stuff I'm, 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 I've been, you know, been producing and, and uh, keeping, like, you know, this is a, you know, one of my clowns yes. that I've made, which is a NG Firefly Yellow Belly Clown. That thing is beautiful. Are you going to be at the Pomona show? I'll You're be bending, be bending? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple things for sale? My third super show I'm going to be at, which you can catch me at Pomona this coming weekend. And uh, yeah, you, uh, I'm actually doing a live show there at Pomona as well. But I'll have snakes there available. So. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. All right. So what else have we got over here, big dog? We got some more ball pythons here, right? So a lot of these, majority of these are ball pythons, but you know, I want to show you something different. I mean, What's that over there in the corner? Well, that's an Aubrey. That's an Aubrey. Hi, Aubrey. That's my Aubrey. daughter. Triple, triple recessive. Yeah, triple recessive. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, listen, I, 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 a lot of them are ball pythons. You know, I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. This was a, a nice ball python production from Always Evolving Pythons. Which oh, is, is that the one I sold you as? as a male. And, it was as a a male. and he, he aggressively tried to buy it back. I'm not going to lie. But I do know that, you know, one thing me and, get, me and Miguel have in common are the same Dude, likes of snakes. Dude, yes. This is I mean, my male right here. This is an IMG. Um, a lot. Just a, there's, dude, tech. mine's a female. Yeah, it's a male you right here. Should read them. I mean, let me know, bro. But yeah, this is a male right here. Now, MJ. A lot of people are going to be seeing these big old, you know, freaking um, uh, what's it called? What would you call this? Tree monitors. No. <laughs> oh, enclosures. Enclosures. Do you, is there any way we could pull one out here real quick and get a look at one? Uh, one of these, or I mean, we could pull Mac Tree and Alice. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's yeah, do let's, that. Let's, let's pull something. That's see what they want they just ate now these are the bell face um yeah so these are both bell face lace monitors um which you know obviously they come from australia let's see if i get a better let me see so, so i take it this is a pair right yeah so right there right there is the male that's mac dre what best way to know is kind of by the girth of the head so yeah so that's mac dre it's my male and this right here yeah, is the Alex, female. Yeah. Have you um, bred them yet, or are they still not ready? I mean, they're, uh, they're. I would say he just needs to get a little bit bigger. He's a few months behind her in age, but I mean, they're at, they're about they're getting to that point. So I think it's all about weather and, and you know me controlling the temperatures and lowering it and whatnot to really kick it in. But it could happen, yeah. Do you know what I love about this, dude? Look how much freaking room they have here, man. Look at this yeah. huge enclosure. Dude, you remember the first time when I went to your place? Not that it was bad, but just how much you freaking evolved, man. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I bro, didn't come, I didn't come in man. with a lot of money, and I was, I had, I had to get, I had to get what I could get. Um, but yeah, I wasn't definitely was just trying to elevate and get Dude, better. Again, and, and, and seriously, man, congratulations on your success, brother. So what do you, what do you have plans here for the next uh, couple of years? What's the what's the goal, man? You really want to know? Yeah, man, more monitors, less ball pythons. All right, so we're going to finish this vlog here right now, guys. <laughs> For real? Is that really is that really the goal? Yeah, so check it out. I've sold over 30 adult female ball pythons within the last, like, six months. May I ask what the reason is to that? Well, you know, listen, I just respect where the level of the ball python game is. I'm somebody who would like to make some sort of an imprint. And I, I don't know, like, I, I will always have ball pythons a part of the recipe. I, I'm only at where I'm at because of the ball pythons. Everything that you see here became from the ball python game. And I always respect that. But at the end of the day, I don't need to shoot for uh, 50, 60 clutches. I'm just not there with that anymore. My passion is more like less is more so i went ahead and just dialed down to like the top 15 females i want to breed and they're the most relevant thing i felt like i could keep and i really want to focus more on stuff like this like this is the stuff i'm really passionate about are the monitors um and oh, that's just where i'm at Bro, right now man at least dude again you've always been an honest person man that's yeah. freaking badass dude yeah but like i said i take nothing away from the ball pythons at all like it, it, this is i'm only at where i'm at because of ball pythons what do we have right here big homie so this is one of my scrub pythons what a scrub. Yeah, four extra five. What a scrub. <laughs> Not you, but um, obviously. And then also, man, you know, shout to Mexico, man. This is where they reach them. Oh, that's right. Now, are these uh, docile, you think, a little bit? Don't, uh, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you can pick them up. You know, obviously, there's a technique to it, but yeah, you don't want to just stick your hand in there. Dude, I can, you know, even someone showing me a technique, man, I still wouldn't even have the guts to do it, dude. I use those, like, 
bite like through what they call those bite proof gloves yeah but you, yeah. yeah you don't want to be that asshole to get bit all right guys so that's it for the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm actually pretty happy because this has actually gone longer than eight minutes with this, you know <laughs> my top man eight minutes is usually where i stop at again all his socials are going to be on the information on the description down below guys go check it out so you guys can see like more of his collection on there. Um, MJ, anything else you want to say before we finish this off? No, I'm just saying, man, always respect your mentors and always remember the people who put you on and Miguel is definitely one of those. So I just want to say thank you for pulling up here and you know bringing your daughter, which is AKA your, your mini me. And yeah. uh, just always supporting the trap, man. I, this, this guy right here has always been a huge supporter. 100% brother. So thank you. All right, guys, as we always say, appreciate all the support. Until next time, peace. Cheek.